everyone and welcome back to Fashion Attack. For those who don't know me, my name is Mikal, I'm an interior designer from Tel Aviv and on this channel we love to remake super high design pieces and apartments on a very tight budget. In the course of the next weeks, I'm gonna bring you through a makeover of a full apartment and we're gonna start from the room of a super cute baby girl. She literally fell in love with this picture on Pinterest and I decided I would make her dream bedroom come true, but some pieces were impossible to find, so today we're gonna recreate this super cool headboard or fluffy wall that we see in the picture. Yes, the full makeover is gonna come later during the course of the month. So take out your measuring tape and start placing it on top of the very long and thin slices of wood that we bought. I decide to make every line of 30 centimeters, so I'm marking 30 centimeters on both edges and then drawing a straight line connecting the two dots. Yes, I like to make it cheap, so I'm just using a simple measure. Then we take out our jigsaw and we go and cut out the little line that we drew. I decided that every single line had to be 30 centimeters shorter than the one before. In this way it would come out like a simple cool waterfall effect and so that's why I went to mark every time 30 centimeters less. So 180 then 150 then 120 and that's how I drew all of them differently. And beside the tall one, all the other ones were two of each size. You go and cut out everything and then do exactly the same thing over and over so that you can create all the pieces that you need. Now, I wanted to have a top roundy effect and that's why I decided to use this trick. You go and find the middle of your board, mark it with your pencil and then use a thread to connect a piece of tape to the dot the thread to the pencil and then at that point you just put the tape on the place where you made your mark and simply spin the pencil and it's gonna create your perfect half circle. Cut it away with your jigsaw, then simply get some sanding paper and go and sand away every single border to make it nice and smooth. Repeat the same process over and over on every single board that you created and you are um, done. Um, no, we're not doing the same process with the pencil. We're simply placing the old one on top of the new one and copying exactly the same shape that we had so that it saves us energy and they're all identical. I think it's very important to tell you that no, you absolutely do not have to follow the measurements that I give you. This is just the idea that I decided to follow for the space that I had in this specific room. But obviously you can do whatever you want. So if your room is smaller, try thinking about making every single board a bit tighter. If your room is bigger or especially with very high ceilings, you can go and expand your boards a lot higher. Second piece of equipment that we need is foam and yes you can buy it as a thickness that you prefer but in this case because it's on the wall and it does not have to be like sitting uncomfortable I just bought the thinnest that there is and I went and cut around the wood that I already had adding two centimeters for each side so that it's possible to bend it on top of the wood like this. You see you need it on the right, on the left, on the bottom also and on the top obviously. Then take out your staple gun and go and staple all your foam around following the shape with the most accuracy that you have and then so soft take out your fabric. I decided to buy four meters of fabric that was enough for my entire placement because it's four meters times 150. Yes, it's a big, big, big piece of fabric. And then I placed on top every single slice of wood that I had, one on top of each other, and simply go and cut the shape around it. If we did leave two centimeters extra for the foam, for the material, I decided it was better to leave a little bit more because the foam obviously creates volume on its own. So let's say like three or four centimeters for each side. Yeah. That should make the game. At this point, we take out our staple gun again and obviously go and place it all around our fabric. Or better, the fabric around our wood. I decided that you need to pull a little bit the fabric so that it doesn't make any fold on the other side. That is the one that you don't see at the moment. And then just staple everything away. Once you arrive to the top, you're going to have to play a little bit with the fabric. And every time, fold it and pull it, fold it and pull it so that you can create this round effect and this round shape that obviously does not come naturally on the material. But if you do it with little folds, it's going to work perfectly. And on the bottom instead, that it's a straight shape, I just decided to fold it on itself, pulling the corner a little bit to the inside so that we cannot see it from the front. As you see, it comes all nice and smooth. Perfect. 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 So nice. It turned out amazing and I could not wait to assemble it. Yes, we're going to cut out a little bit of the back. After every single piece was ready and set, I decided that it was way better to go and assemble it directly inside the room because otherwise how do I carry it with me? So I just 
put everything inside a taxi, went to the location and started to assemble every piece together there. I absolutely did not want to see the nails where I would screw it to the wall. So what I decided to do was create connections in between every single board so that the nails would go inside and it would be seamless. How did I do that, you're wondering? Well, I simply used some scrap wood that I had as a leftover while I was cutting the big boards, put it in between the two boards as a connector, and then with some screws, I screwed it inside. Two screws on one side, two screws on the other side, and I had the perfect connection where to put my screw to the wall without touching the fabric at all. And after the pieces were all connected together, all I did was place it on the wall, try to move it up and right and left where I wanted it to be, made a few little marks where I wanted to make the holes, then took the boards away and started to go inside with my driller. You basically need one hole, so one nail for every single connector that you have between one board and the other. Then you can put one little piece of plasticky for every hole. And then obviously you're gonna have to go and pass the screw exactly in between the connector that now you're gonna see lifting up all the boards and the hole that I have on the other side. Exactly, the screw I'm inserting in the connector all the way to the wall. That's how it works. I hope you had fun and I hope to see you again next week with more tutorials and DIYs. The complete makeover of this place is gonna come out a little bit in glimpse because there's so many DIYs that I need to make for the same properties. So first I'm gonna publish all the DIYs and then it's a full makeover of the entire place. And now let's go see the result. Guys, I am super excited about the result of this headboard or fluffy wall. You can decide to make it any size that you want. I just went a little bit further than the bed, but you can decide to do your full wall. And I cannot wait to show you the face of the little girl when she saw her room. She was obsessed with it. And obviously, it's not only for little girls. I would totally do it also in my room. Maybe in a different color.